Hello everybody and welcome to my video, Getting Tidier. So I decided last night that I would finish off the work that I started and sorting out the cabinet and the uh, shelves, shelves and so on. So I managed to sort quite a lot out and I cleaned it really, really well. There was quite a lot of dust on some of those shelves. Not inside the cabinet, but there were in the shelves. So as I told you yesterday, I managed to bring some of the items from the kitchen cupboard into the cabinet, which is great. And then you heard all about the story yesterday about the rabbit. So my sister wanted the rabbit to be put back in the hutch. He was quite happy here, but I did his medication here and then we took him over to my sister's house. And then my daughter went to bed. And I thought when my daughter went to bed, I thought, right, I'm gonna finish off what I started in the bathroom. So you can see how the cabinets brought forward. That was because my husband did the works on the shower upstairs in our bedroom. However, that's still not working because the company sent him the wrong controller panel. So we'd had to send that back and wait for another one. So I then want to completely clean out behind the back of it. Now, what was really interesting was I found about three or four slightly dried up prunes behind the bathroom cabinet and as, as I said this as I say this my daughter was looking at me with half a smile um so I imagine at some point in time I've given her something and she decided she didn't really want it so she threw it behind the cabinet she's saying that she didn't do that well it obviously wasn't me and it wasn't my husband so it must be uh Mr Nobody those of you who know that poem, it's worth looking it, If you don't know that poem, Mr. Nobody, Google it. It's quite funny. There is a man that lives in the house. Basically, all the things that happen in the house are down to Mr. Nobody because nobody takes responsibility. So I clean behind there and then I've pushed it right back. Then I'm taking all the items out of the cupboard and then putting them back in in a bit more of an orderly fashion. Now, there were two shelves that had just ended up being like dumping grounds for bits and pieces. So I completely clear those out and I'm going to um, roll up some towels. I've seen that done on TV and I think it looks really nice. So I'm going to roll those towels up. What I'm really trying to insist sort of with my husband is that he uses the guest towels, towels and the hand towels to then shower with. Whereas we've got like green towels that we used to have in this room. But they've all gone upstairs into our bedroom, which is en suite. And then in the, in the downstairs bathroom, this bathroom, we have all white towels, but he keeps using them. So I need to make sure he doesn't do that. So the little wicker baskets, they're nearly really, to be honest, past their best. They're getting like holes in the bottom and so on. But I'm taking everything out of those. Um, and putting some of the shampoos into my big shampoo container like I was doing the other day and all the things that don't belong in here I'm putting somewhere else there was quite a few things that started going rusty as well because obviously these do get little things do get quite um can get quite damp um, and things had leaked and so on and there was like scissors that were dusty and hair slides that had gone all dusty and um rusty dusty and rusty I'm a poet and didn't know it so I take everything out of there and then you'll see me slowly start putting things, some of the things back again. And then once I've done, I put the little drawers back in and it already starts looking quite neat. Fold up the towels. I need to, um, once my other white load of washing that's currently hanging out is dry, I'll put another one of those in. And it suddenly starts looking much, much neater. I've already decided, also decided that I'm going to use up some of these sh shampoo bottles and then I'll only need to have one at a time. And I've got some miniatures of like um, shower gel, which I'm going to use up. So rather than using my big bottle, I just use the miniatures up and get rid of those. I also found more mosquito repellents. I cannot believe how many mosquito repellents we've got. Maybe 10 bottles. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to use those when we go to Italy later this year. Not buy any new ones. <clears throat> Excuse me. So once I finish all the bathroom off, I'll show you the inside of the cupboards. 
and um, you'll see what an improvement I've made. So you can see I've got a few um, empty places now for my towels. A few better bottles really than what I more than what I want there, but I'll get them down in time. And this is some of the stuff from yesterday, bits and pieces that just aren't wanted, aren't needed. A sponge which apparently scratches, empty bottles, things that are broken, things that have gone rusty, things that have passed it. So that was really good to get rid of that. And then these are some of the things from the other day when I was when I started the cabinet. So My Little Pony with no hair, um, some Febreze and other bits and pieces I don't want, and then a bin full of bits and pieces, um, which is really good just to get rid of the stuff, things that just aren't needed and aren't wanted, and empty bottles because I put all my shampoo into the big shampoo. And this is a pile of the rubbish from the other day. I forgot to post this on my other video, so empty bottles, broken combs, all different bits and pieces. So that's good news. So this morning, um, we got up at a reasonable sort of time, didn't sleep very well last night, um, but I, before I started doing breakfast, I just wanted to do some washing up. So my daughter was watching a little bit of television and her crumble is in the oven heating up. So I thought whilst the crumble is heating, I'll do some washing up and just clear some of the side. Last night, after I had finished off the cabinet um, in the bathroom, I needed to prepare for a workshop that I've got next week and send out different invites so I didn't have time to then do the dinner time washing up. So I'm scraping some of the food from dinner. And to be honest, also yesterday I was absolutely exhausted. This cough and I'm still feeling very sort of tired as a result of being unwell last week. So did some washing up and then you'll see me get the crumble out for my daughter and put that into a bowl for her. She eats quite a lot in the morning, which is good. She's often quite hungry, so she had a big bowl of crumble, which my husband made before he went away, which is good. 
it's blackberries, raspberries, and then like a thick topping, which he enjoys eating. So that's good. So I'm getting through the plates. You can see that the kitchen is definitely getting better. I've obviously got some saucepans piled up there um, and some things that I need to put away there on the left. But I'm nearly getting it back to the level that it was at. Also, in terms of washing, I'd had about six loads of washing to do. I've probably got two loads left. So again, I'm getting back on top of that, which is great. You can see here in England, it's a very grey day today. It's sort of been drizzly rain all day. And you can see it's not very bright at all. Typical sort of springtime weather, really. We should start getting warmer days now. Um, we're moving into sort of, what are we, middle of February? end of February. Yeah, start getting warm soon, hopefully, and I can get out into the garden and plant my seeds up into my greenhouse. Yeah, so um, I'm now just drying my hands and then getting the crumble out. And then I'll take that through to my daughter. And she'll have, we both have our breakfast, and then we went over to do the rabbits. So getting the rabbit out of the hutch was a complete nightmare. He doesn't want to come out of the hutch, so it's really, really hard to get him out. My my dad made it look easy yesterday just by picking him up like with the hair at the back of his sort of neck and putting his hand under his bottom, scooped him out easily. Really hard for me, and it was pelting down with rain, and I've got this cough, and I feel tired. We eventually managed to get him out. I don't know what I would have done without my daughter. My daughter was a massive help. Brought him into the kitchen, gave him his medication, gave him his food and then put him back out into his hutch. Um, then what, by the time we got home afterwards, my daughter was going to spend a little bit of time with my mum, but there wasn't really that much time left. So um, she did a little bit of schoolwork before lunchtime. And then I got the washing out of the washing machine and um, started trying to dry some more. You'll see the dining room is now a bit of a mess again. But that was because yesterday I set up that rub, pretend rabbit hutch. So me and my daughter set up a whole area. He was very happy here. He wasn't distressed at all. He's very happy. But a sort, a sort of quite a lot of stress now, having to go there and get the rabbit out of the hutch. But they're back late tonight. Uh, so that will be good. And then my sister can take over with the medication. The good news is his eye is definitely, definitely getting better so that's good hopefully it'll completely recover and there'll be no more problems he's seven years old so he's quite an old rabbit really um so he has had a good life but obviously we want to get him better and i don't want anything to happen whilst i'm looking after him it was quite funny though because someone else was supposed to be looking after him yesterday afternoon but because i'd taken him and he was at my house I emailed and said, just to let you know, the rabbit's with me, you don't need to go around and feed him, and you don't need to cover him up, like for night time, because there's foxes, so you have to put loads of things up to stop the fox from going anywhere near the hutch. Um, the really funny thing was, when me and my daughter took him back last night, um, the person had been round, and they'd, they'd covered him all up, although obviously he wasn't there, and they'd put the spades up, and the plant pots up etc etc to stop the fox from getting in but they hadn't actually checked to see whether the rabbit was in there because the rabbit wasn't in there the rabbit was with me so I'm not sure whether I'd really um rely on that person to look after my pet and how could she fit how could she give the food to him when the bowls were here and she, how could she check the water when the water bottle was here anyway all good fun so the rest of this video, you'll see I do some more in the kitchen and then I start getting all my washing out. I know I've got loads of washing hanging everywhere and I know lots of you absolutely hate that. But once I get the rest of this dry, which should be by the end of the day, I'll be able to put it all away. Happy days. So yeah, the washing is hanging all over the radiators at the moment. And then right at the very end of the video, you'll see me back into the kitchen doing more work, more sorting and doing lunch. Thank you very much to all of my new followers. Very, very much appreciate you subscribing to my channel. And now I've got over 1,500 subscribers. Can you believe that? And also thank you for your comments. Really lovely comments I had yesterday. So helpful, so kind, so enthusiastic, so supportive. 
Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.